what got me into barbecue competitions was uh, about seven and a half years ago, we were cooking turkeys one day and uh, ended up making a homemade smoker and thought it was the coolest thing ever. And somebody said, hey, Jerry, let's go enter a barbecue competition. I said, okay, we'll do it. Seven years ago, this weekend, we uh, entered our first barbecue contest and that's what started this crazy habit we did. A uh, typical competition for us, on the outside looking in, someone sees it, looks a lot like controlled chaos. There's a thousand different things happening all at one time, but it's in a chronological order. So it looks like it's out of control and it's on fire, but then we just cross the finish line and then you go, wow, they meant to do that way. We started out doing local competitions and branched out, and the further we got out, the more we learned, the more we experienced, the more people we got to encounter. We just found out we enjoyed it. So that was seven years ago, and probably hundreds of thousands of dollars and hundreds of thousands of miles later, we compete uh, from anywhere from California to New York to Florida, and of course back to North Carolina. A typical competition for us usually starts on Tuesday and we start doing our meats and sauces, rubs and injections. Then we end up Friday going to the competition and setting up. We have a cook's meeting that night, usually an early bed time, about 8 o'clock. Wake up that morning at about 4 o'clock, put our meats on and start cooking. Get everything ready and prepared for a 12 o'clock turn in. That's the first turn in we have. First the four meats go in at a 30 minute interval. And then usually about 1.31, that controlled chaos is over with. We sit down, have an adult beverage, talk to the crowd and our friends out here a little bit. So one of the questions I'm asked about a lot of times is at our restaurant, Redneck Barbecue Lab, we talk about proven winning competition barbecue. We're specifically using the smokers that we use in here in that setting. We use the rubs, the sauces, we use the same charcoal, we use the same cherry wood use a lot of the same techniques that we're doing in competition. Normal folks outside of the barbecue world can't eat this food. They can come to the Redneck Barbecue Lab and eat what we're cooking here, so it's only in Johnson County, North Carolina is where it's at. 